Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny Campbell, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look, which is an easy, affordable makeup look that anyone can do. I'm going to be sharing the tools that I use and the products that I use, and so if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing, then please keep on watching. This is probably not gonna be the quickest, it's not gonna be like a five minute face or anything, but it is going to be an easy and affordable makeup tutorial that anybody can do. Everything that I have here, is, you can find at Walmart or at a drugstore and is pretty cheap. I think everything I have here is under $20. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I've already washed my face and moisturized it this morning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. And the reason I like to use this is it's very moisturizing and I think that it makes my makeup last a little bit longer and keeps my face from being kind of flaky and dry. I have kind of combination skin so it can lean a little oily, sometimes it can be a little dry. So I really like using this. So I'm going to first prime my face using this. This is kind of an optional step. Not everyone needs to prime their face. My mirror is over here, so if you see me looking that way, that's what I'm looking at. I'm just gonna dot it on my face and kind of rub it in. Okay, now, the next thing I'm gonna do is foundation. I'm gonna put it on with my Real Technique sponge. And I'm gonna use my CYO Life Proof Long Lasting Foundation. And this is a CVS brand, and I think that you can get it online for really cheap if you can find it in a CVS store. It's even cheaper there, I think. I think this is under $10. It's a very cheap foundation. It lasts all day. It's very good. I usually use about a pump of this, about this much, and just dot it on my face. And you don't want to use too much. I'm going to go ahead and put some down here so that I can blend it down my neck. Okay, now I'm going to take my beauty sponge and I'm going to blend this out. You want to make sure your beauty sponge is damp. Not like dripping wet, but a little bit damp. So I'm gonna blend this out. I'm just kind of using a stippling motion. And I love the way this looks. It kind of leaves a dewy sort of look on the skin, which totally makes you look a little bit younger, which I love. And I'm gonna blend it all the way down the neck. Okay, and for concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a very affordable concealer. There's tons of colors. And I have the shade Five Ivory. And I will say it's not the lightest concealer that I've ever used before, but that's okay. I'm not 20 years old. I'm not wanting like bright white concealer eyes, but it does do a good job of kind of brightening the under eye and covering up dark circles. The best way I personally think to do concealer under your eyes is just, I just add a little bit. So I'm just gonna do a little bit under the eyes right here. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend that out. And I like to bring mine a little bit up on top of the eyelid to start preparing for my eyeshadow. Now, sometimes I like to add a little bit more. If you can see, I have a little bit of darkness right here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more right there it may not get all the way covered up. You know, I have three kids. I haven't slept much in the last nine years. It's about as good as we're gonna get. Now I'm gonna set my face, and what I'm gonna use is this Maybelline Fit Me Again. This is a really great powder from the drugstore. It's very inexpensive, and I like to set my whole face with it. So I set my under eyes with it. I set the whole entire face with it. And for my under eyes, the best way for me to set my under eyes is I'm gonna use this Real Techniques Contour Brush. This is also from the drugstore. You can get it at Walmart, super inexpensive. I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush and I'm just gonna tap it under there. Okay, and then to set the rest of my face, I am going to use a big fluffy brush. This is from Eco Tools. It's an angled kabuki brush. And I like it because it's just big and fluffy and I can just kind of, I don't want to get too powdery all over the rest of my face. So I just want to kind of set it real quickly. If you have really dry skin, sometimes you might not need to set it. it. Depends on the foundation that you use. So, okay, there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with blush, bronzer, and highlight. 
the one I'm gonna use today is this Flower Beauty. It comes all together, so it's very inexpensive and you get all three together at the same time. I have light to medium, so it comes in basically the color you feel like your skin tone is. So now obviously as you can see, my bronzer sort of busted and I'm really sad about it and it's terrible. So I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild contour brush. This brush is like $2, so it's very easy to get. I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer and I'm just gonna add a little bit to the hollows of my cheeks and then I'm gonna blend it out. You wanna make sure everything you're adding, you're blending out. You don't want any harsh lines. So, and then I'm gonna add a little bit up here to my forehead and to my temples, just kind of like where the sun would naturally hit you. Now this is a completely optional step. There are lots of days where I don't even bother with bronzer, just because it's an extra step and I have three kids. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Flower Beauty blush. Now this looks really pinky in the pan, but it's not gonna be that shocking on the cheeks. So let me show you how that looks. A little bit to my cheeks. I love blush, so sometimes I use like a lot of blush. Obviously you do you. You do what makes you feel happy. All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit of highlighter. Now highlighter is kind of a new thing for me. I just started wearing highlighter recently. So I'm gonna use this, obviously this Flower Beauty highlighter right here. I have this cute little highlighter brush, but they have lots of, of cheap, affordable brushes, highlighter brushes that you can use. You can even use a contour brush or a blush brush for highlighter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with my highlighter is I'm gonna add just a little bit to the high points of my face. So I'm gonna add some right here to the cheekbones, and I'm gonna go up above my brow in sort of like a C shape and blend it out. I don't want it to look like a huge stripe. I love this highlight, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna add some down my nose, a little tip, then I'm gonna add a little bit to the cupid's bow, and a tiny bit to the chin. And this, in my opinion, this adds a healthy kind of glow, makes you look a little bit younger. You know, like I said, you do you. So, now that we've done blush, bronzer, and highlight, next, I always go for eyebrows. Now, as you can see, I do not have eyebrows. That is not something I was blessed with. So, my favorite product to use for eyebrows is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I love it because it's tiny. I can draw tiny little hair strokes on my eyebrows. And so, I use the shade Taupe. Okay, so, eyebrows are on. Next, we are going to do eyeshadow. This is kind of a however you feel like you wanna do it situation. There are days when I go all out on eyeshadow and I do a full look with sparkles and shimmers and whatever, but this is gonna be sort of a plain tutorial where I just show you something easy that you can do quickly. If your kids are hanging on you, you can probably still do this. This is the Wet n Wild Awe Natural palette, and I love this palette so much. I think the shade name is called Nude Awakening, and I love it so much because it's kind of cool toned. It's got some pinkish shades in it, which I really, really like, and obviously you can see the shades. Well, I think this one kind of broke, but you can see the shades that I <laughs> use the most, and those are the shades obviously we're gonna be using today. And I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's sort of a taupey, pinky shade. And I'm gonna take that on my base shadow brush, which is also from Real Techniques. Also you can get from Walmart, easy to find, cheap to buy. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna put this straight into the crease of my eye. So I'm gonna put that here and blend it out using windshield wiper motions and soft kind of circular motions. And I wanna blend this up, this is sort of supposed to contour my eye, the hollow of my eye, just like I use the contour to contour my cheek. And I'm gonna blend this up towards the eyebrow, towards the brow bone. You use as little or as much as you like until you feel like it looks good on you. It works best if you kind of build it up. So don't go in with like heavy handed. I mean, sometimes I do that, but 
try to restrain yourself. You kind of want to make sure the edges are really soft and not harsh. Okay, and I'm happy with how this looks. And that is going to be the extent of my main eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take this, this kind of shimmery shade right here and I'm going to just put it on my finger and I'm going to swipe it across the top just to add a little shimmer this is obviously totally optional but I like to have a little shimmer this is not a huge like go out on the town look this is an easy look to do I'm gonna take this I bought this little it's by the brand Moda you can also buy this at Walmart it's just a little brush eye brush kit so it has all these different brushes in it this has like a crease brush all different kinds of brushes in here and I'm gonna take this one which is a it says smoky eye on it but I'm gonna take it it kind of looks like a pencil at the end I'm gonna take that same shadow that I used the pinky brown and I'm gonna smudge it underneath my eye all the way in I'm not big on eyeliner and I'm not gonna use eyeliner in this tutorial I don't really use it much at all so my favorite mascara from the drugstore is called the it's by L'Oreal. It's called the Voluminous, Volu Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Love this mascara. It's beautiful. It really volumizes your lashes and it does not flake or smudge or anything. And I have oily skin, especially around, around this area. And so that's really important to me. So I'm going to take this. I do not put mascara on my bottom lashes. The only reason is my lashes are very long <laughs> and even my bottom lashes. And so I just don't like the look of them being really huge and big. I just like my top lashes and I don't wear eyeliner, so I just don't like the look of it. But, you know, that's a personal thing. You do you. Last step is lips. My favorite, favorite, favorite drugstore lips to wear are these NYX Butter Glosses. They're so beautiful and they come in so many colors and you can get these also at Walmart or CVS or whatever they're really, I think they're like $7. And this one is called Tiramisu. It's one of my favorites. My very favorite is Creme Brulee and I couldn't find that one. But this is my second favorite Tiramisu. And you can just throw this in your bag and reapply it during the day. It's super easy and light, so pretty. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set, and I'm gonna set my whole face. This just kind of helps it last longer throughout the day. And then I am done. So that is my easy drugstore affordable makeup look. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments. If you have any recommendations for me, I would love to hear them. Please leave them in the comments. I'm all about finding new affordable ways to do my makeup. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe down below and also click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post, upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching so much and I will see you in the next one.